Hey guys, it's been a minute. I wanted to update you on a couple of things that we've seen in our platform. Uh, as some of you may have noticed that we sometimes get out of uh, outside approved location alerts off of file events from Microsoft data centers. And that's because Microsoft has essentially uh, taken the stance of, we're going to put your data wherever it's convenient for us, uh, since you know speed is usually not a huge issue. And so, for instance, we had one client who was in the US, but their data was being stored in Singapore. So every single time they would go out and touch a file and in the SharePoint, they would trigger the out of outside approved location alert. And that would cause us to have a critical alert in our system, usually multiple, and would be very loud for our, some of our clients. It doesn't affect everybody, but for the people that it does affect, it's very annoying. I want to show you a temporary way that we can suppress these alerts. Uh, there are some caveats about them, uh, about this uh, this method. It is something that it has that it will be addressed in future releases. However, this will allow you to at least quiet them down. Let me discuss the cons first before we go with the pros. The cons are we will essentially be modifying the outside approved location uh, alert and lowering that global down to a low. And uh, what that means is that other platforms that you may be monitoring, like your RMM or Google, will be affected by this. And this is an unfortunate side effect of this method. However, if you're only monitoring Microsoft, this should be fine for you. Uh, if you are monitoring those other platforms, uh, you may want to kind of reach out to us and discuss alternative methods or uh, possibly look at maybe like a workflow rule or something within your RMM, I mean, your uh, PSA. So let's go ahead and discuss the pros. The pros are you will have a much quieter system. <laughs> so let's go ahead and go under our customize alerts. That's the first thing that we'll have to do so for outside. And we'll want to take this critical alert down to a low. Once we do that, we'll see that it was successfully updated. Let's go ahead and create our rule. We're going to be using respond to elevate anything that's not a file event and also some other criteria we can throw in there for good measure. Let's go for a new rule. We're going to call it outside approved location, non micro, non file event. So we'll go to file events, go to organizations. We're going to trigger this, make this a global rule. And go to conditions. And we're going to look for outside. Look for one occurrence. So we're going to check for this event to happen. We're going to add a filter to it though. We're going to say anything that has the description, if it does not contain file event, or let's go for description it does not contain file share event. Both of those may come up. Uh, we can fine tune this even farther if you want to. You can be you can really tighten this down and say not only does it have to not be a file event, I also want to check for the ASN. I want to make sure that it does not contain Microsoft. ASN is essentially a, a library of commercial entities that own IP addresses. And that's what shows up when you go to analyze. You see, you know, typically who owns the IP addresses, say Microsoft Corporation or you know, Xfinity, Comcast, Verizon. Uh, that's the ASN name. That's what we're pulling that. So essentially what we're doing is we're saying if I can spell that right. We're essentially saying that if it's a not if it's not a file event and it does not come to me, it does not come from Microsoft, then let's go ahead and alert on it. Let's add this on here as well. And so what we've done here is we've can we've set this up so that it's looking for these criteria off, off of this outside approved. Next, we'll go ahead and choose our action. We're going to select do nothing, which is essentially alert. We're going to make sure this is critical and we're ready to go. So 
So again, to recap, we're looking for an outside approved location where the description does not contain file event and the IP ASN name does not contain Microsoft. So if it is a file event from outside approved location, it will still trigger if it's on a Microsoft. So it's an easy way to, to fine tune that. But like I said, this is a global change. So the fact that you've lowered outside approved location means that any of the other platforms you're monitoring, uh, that primary alert has been turned off. So you should be aware of that. A future fix is coming to address this in uh, hopefully the next quarter. But in the meantime, this can help you lower that noise down. Hope this was helpful and talk to you soon.